more, you know, a little bit of a car culture, but another uh, question as far as how, um, I guess you could say how advanced our country is. Now, granted, you know, yes, I'm an American, proud of it. You know, I buy American whenever I can. But that's not, that's not my point. My point is, if you ever stop and think, just how far behind the times we really are. I mean, years ago they said that we were going to go from our standard imperial system over to the metric system. Well, thankfully, that hasn't happened yet, because I I don't really care for the metric system, because I, I have had to use it, and the conversion is kind of a pain. But I'm talking more about more about cars and how we are as a country. First of all, our vehicles do less than gas mileage than any other country in the world. And that has to do with federal regulations on fuel consumption and all that. The problem is that our government wants to keep us as a consumption country, a consuming country. Meaning they want us to have more, well, they want us to consume more oil, more gas, that kind of thing. For example, my car, which I'm driving right now, 2009 Chevy Cobalt, 22 four star, excuse me, five speed, which is shifted into fourth. Um, the best mileage I've done is about 35.6. I mean, it's rated for 37 highway, which is pretty close to what I've been getting. This same car over in Europe, it, England or Germany or wherever they wherever they export these cars to. I do know they, they, they export them. This same car over in Europe will do that in the city. 30 city and nearly 60 on the highway. Well, the main reason for that is the difference in computer chips. So my question is, why can't we get those computer chips here? Not only would we consume less fuel, but you know, it'd be, it'd be better for us as a society. The next thing is, for example, this highway I'm driving right now, uh, it's called Highway 22 in Minnesota. Um, I'm heading to, uh, heading to the office. This speed limit on this highway is 55 miles an hour. The last time I calculated my mileage, okay, not the last time, but a few weeks ago when I calculated my mileage, I had averaged 70 miles an hour on a trip that a buddy and I were taking. We went down to see another friend get married. I averaged 70 miles an hour with the air conditioning on, full blast, the whole way down. And the whole way back. And when I calculated my mileage that next time, it was 35.6. That was the best. Recently, I've been doing 55, 60, give or take, because I've been driving this high most of the time. Lately, my mileage has been down to 31, 32. So that just proves that cars are getting faster and more efficient. So my next question is, why can't we up the speed? Because, I mean, there again, over in Europe, on a highway such as this, your average speed would be 65 to 70. And on the motorways, as they're called over there, their speed is about 85 miles an hour. And that's their, their maximum speed limit, right their average speed limit. I, I want to say is about 75 again, you know. So if cars are getting faster, more efficient, and safer, why can't our country move to the times and get faster roads? Basically, excuse my language, pull their head out of their ass and basically grow up as a country. Why can't we figure this stuff out and fix our country. Oh. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Catch you later. Who's watching? Tell me who's watching.